this video tutorial i'll be showing you how to create a text masking effect in coral draw it's very simple and very very easy to do so without any further ado let's jump right in all right so um this is the image we're making use of so it has no background so it's a png image so one of the criteria to achieve this effect is that the image you're using won't have a background so i also have a video in the description below on how to remove background so you can check it out all right so this is what we'll be using and um, the font we'll be using is um, Poppins and the word is cool. All right, so let's get it ready. All right, then enter, enter, enter. All right, then um, we select Poppins extra bool. So this is the one they will want to be using. Then use the shape tool to reduce the spaces between them. Let me zoom this so you can see it clearly. All right, so this is fine. All right, so um, so you can make use of any font of your choice, but as it stands now, Poppins is the right font for this. That is my choice. All right, so um, you select the image, then hold Shift, then you go to your toolbar section, then you select the rectangle tool and you double click. Yes, then um, it takes the shape of the a rectangular shape or a square shape, depending on the area the sh um the image covers. Alright, so to deselect this current tool, now you just hit on your space bar rather than going to the pick tool here. Alright, it saves you a whole lot of um, work. Alright, so um, you select the shape now. So um, you drag this to this area until you see this midpoint. So this is fine. So um, if you try this and it didn't work for you, you have to make sure you turned on your smart guide in Coral Draw. So um alignment guide and all of that. So I have a video in the description below on how to turn that on. It saves a whole lot of work and helps your works to be accurate. So um for the sake of video, I won't elaborate more on this. So you just check the video in the description below and set it up. So once you have this, this is the midpoint. So um make sure you copy this image, control C. That's nice. Then um or you just click on it, then right click, then you copy control or command plus C. All right, so you select the shape right, then hold shift, then you select the image, then you come to your property bar, then you select trim. All right, so um, that is amazing. Okay, then you bring, you drag this whole control, then you drag this, then you bring this text here, so you bring it to this area, so this is fine here. All right, so you drag drag then this is the essence of having an alignment guide so it tells me this is where i'm to stop so this is it let me zoom closer a bit so this is it so the essence of turning on the alignment guide it's very very necessary all right so um you can shift this in a little bit or ctrl z all right, so you select this image, then um, you go to your shape tool, then you can also drag this, hold control, then you drag this. So this is fine, all right. Then you power clip this. Let's power clip something into this shape here, all right. Then um. Let's back clip a random shape, hit on the space bar to select, power clip into this, then you enter your power clip, then you paste that um, image you copied, control or command plus V. Alright, so um, we're making progress here. Alright, so um, you remove the fill color here, which is the black, then um, you add an outline, right click on any of the colors, so use white. All right, so um, increase the outline width. Then you come to your status bar here. Then you double click. All right, so currently at um, hairline to increase it. So there's a preview here. So you select this. Make sure these are selected over print outline behind view scaled object. So this is very very nice. So you can also increase it to probably 10. All right, so this is fine. Once you're done, you click on OK. All right, so let's see this clearly. So you can also drag it out so we can see it clearly. All right, so um, this is very, very, very nice. All right, so um, 
You can also drag this. I right, drag this into this area. Hold con control. So this is very very nice. All right. So this is very very nice. This is what we just did. I just see it. All right. So um, you can give this shape a few color. Let's say yellow. So yellow, this yellow is very very nice. All right. So we highlight everything. Control or Command plus G. Then P to fit the drawing page. Then um, you double click on the rectangle tool. All right, then um, you give it this color, then right click to remove the outline. So um, this is what you have. All right, so you can decide to use any image of your choice. And um, also remember we we'll copy that same image. So you can just paste it again, Control or Command plus V. Or if that doesn't work, you enter the power clip again. Then you copy the same image, Control C. Then exit the power clip. Also, I have a video in the description below now to exit the power clip. You can check it out. All right. So you paste Control Command Plus V. Then you select the shape tool. Then you highlight this area. Hold Control. Then you drag. So if this is okay by you. Then you can work with it. So just depending on what you want to achieve. All right, guys. Um, that is it on this video on how to create a text masking effect here in Corel Draw. It's very simple and very very easy to do. All right, guys. Um, if you find this video helpful, do to hit on the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos, and don't forget to like. Share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.